Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Be Real, Twitter, TikTok, Lego Life? Yep, that's right, Lego made a complete rip off of Instagram, and I'm giving myself 30 days to become famous on it. Even though the app is completely dead, there are barely any active users, and the users that the app does have are all like four years old. Okay, well first let's hand it off to Lego version of me to explain what Lego Life even is. Thanks, real version of me. On January 31st, 2017, history was made. Lego launched their new social media app called Lego Life, which was designed for children to just show off their creation. But that is not what happened. Lego Life quickly evolved to an Instagram clone with a surprisingly sophisticated community of kids who weren't only posting pictures of stuff they built, but drawing fan art, writing stories, and even hosting competitions. How do I know all this? Well, I don't mean to brag, but I'm a bit of a Lego Life veteran if I do say so myself. Let's just say I was a pretty big deal on Lego Life, all right? I remember how great it was when my post would get a couple thousand likes and make it to the very top of the Lego Life homepage. I even hosted a few competitions in my day. Does Lego Life's Got Talent ring a bell? No? Well. Trust me, I was a big deal, alright? Alright, so the first step in becoming famous on Lego Life is... To make an account. Create your Lego nickname. Okay. I guess I don't get to, like, customize it or anything. It just makes one up randomly, so I guess... I guess I'll just be modestface 71 Okay. Sign the Lego Life Code of Conduct. What? It says draw your mark, so I guess I guess this is my mark. There you go. I guess we get to make our avatar now. Right now we're just a, a science a scientist lady. Why why is she standing like that? Oh right, I forgot. She's a lady. Then that's how ladies stand. Right, let's just make a new one. Whoa, whoa, dude. Hello. Alright, so now we have our avatar, looking pretty good. Looking like a true Sigma male, if I do say so myself. So the main thing with this app is that everything you post has to go through the moderator, who can approve it or reject it depending on if it follows the kid-friendly guidelines. For example, you can't post anything that isn't kid-friendly, obviously, this app is full of toddlers. Nothing with your own face or your name or any personal information, which is kind of funny because one of the things on the code of conduct is that you have to be yourself, uh, but you can't, you can't show your face or your name or yourself. But be yourself. Nothing that links to another platform or website or anything that isn't made out of Legos. Oh, Papa Papa Roach concert. I don't. That doesn't look like Legos to me. But I guess it has to be Legos or Papa Roach. One of the two. Uh, or both. Man, scrolling through LEGO Life brings back so many good memories. I specifically remember a while back, we were all just minding our own business, just posting terrible pictures. Here's one of my masterpieces, uh, from my Kindle. Uh, until this one guy showed up. Associate Courteous Morrow. Bro, I'm not joking when I say this dude took over the entire app. He just showed up with his professional camera, his actually good building, high quality photography, and just blew all of us 11 year olds out of the water. Okay, I probably could have worded that better. This guy just appeared out of nowhere, and I wanted to be him so bad. I tried my best, but my pictures were never as good. Because I didn't have the equipment, or the talent. <laughs> but now, it's my turn, baby. It's my turn to show up with my professional camera and blow all of these 11-year-olds out of the water. I had to get some good introduction pictures to begin my reign over this app for children. A simple one of the little guy I chose, one of him in a book, one of him with my dog, and one of him in a Lego set that I have. But it's just for decoration, okay? I'm way too old to buy Lego sets. <laughs> I posted all the pictures that I just took, and they did meh. The first one got nine likes. I said, hey, I'm new to Lego life. I'm really excited to share my pictures with you guys. Let's change the world. A bit dramatic, but you know. Uh, the book one got 13 likes, so basically famous, right? The Lego set one only got six likes. So, the one picture with my dog actually got rejected by the moderator. I don't know why, I guess. Are you offensive? Huh? How could you? You're banned from Lego life, buddy. You're done, pal. I don't know if my dog is like offensive, but I for sure am offended by the moderators. Hi. Don't, just don't ask. I've got a thing to go to tonight and I wanted to, this is what I'm wearing, so. Anyway, for some reason the picture of my dog got rejected by the moderator. Uh, the other three posts did alright though. Not ACM numbers, mind you, but you know, we'll get there. Oh, by the way, back in the day we used to call each other by like the initials of the words in our name. So Associate Courteous Mara would be ACM. So I guess people would call me, um, MF. I, it's not the best nickname, but you know. Anyway, today we're gonna take more pictures. Outside edition, ooh. Welcome to the jungle. I'm in my backyard, uh, and I have I've got a little guy right here, modest face. Come on, it's not gonna focus, but you know. This is my dog. Hi, Max. He is a pretty cool guy. Yeah, we're gonna take some pictures outside. Not too exciting, but it's pretty much a necessity on this app to take pictures of your Lego guy outside. Gonna take a picture of this wood in that fire pit. Probably in uh, one of these bird feeders. And one probably just in the grass, which we have uh, a lot of. <laughs> So 
today I was just scrolling on the on the Lego Life homepage and, and something something caught my eye. It's this uh, little like comic strip thing from Barmy Camel 055. They said in the description that they worked really really hard, so it, it better be good. Hi, I need my haircut. Hi, what are you doing? I'm looking for split ends and you do. Uh, looks like they forgot to put the text in, but I can assume that they're saying something. Got to put the secret formula. Oh no, I put the wrong one. Nothing. Wait, what's happening? Okay, you're all done. Finally, perfect. Thanks, it's perfect. You did amazing. You did messed up at all. Yeah, not at all. And then she dies. Um, and that is the comment. There's one, there's two comments. Haha, ha, lol. So, I can leave a comment on here. You can't actually say things. You can send little emojis. Or you can say something that they, like, pre-wrote. Uh, so I could do You're a star. I'm all smiles now, thanks. Freeze! This is cool, haha. Ha. I don't know what the freeze thing is, but I'll say that. Oh, I earned a badge. Keep on speaking your mind. Man, I'm really speaking my mind by choosing one of the ten phrases that I'm allowed to say. So yeah, you could probably guess, but I'm gonna try my shot at making a comic. Let's get to work on that. Bam. Bam. Shakata. Welcome to the Comic Corner. Today we're going to be looking at the comic I made. It's called Comic. It starts off with just our regular guy with his pineapple. And then Santa comes in zooming on the scene. Quite literally. Hi, I'm Santa. Wow. He, he's very excited to see Santa. Wow. And he's hugging him and he's very excited. Uh, and then Santa's like, I, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything else. But, then. but it turns out Santa takes off his beard and mask. And you realize it, Santa's actually just like a, a bandit lady. Like, what? That's crazy. And she's like, ha, 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 ha. And she takes his pineapple and he's like, hey. Hey, that's my pineapple. And then she zooms off. Literally. Again. And he's left alone without his pineapple. But now he's Santa. And that is the true happy ending that we've all been hoping for. And that's it for now. I'll see you next time on the Comic Corner. Just kidding. This will probably never happen on any of my videos ever again. Today I just did some more photography. We had some watermelon for some reason. And I took this cool picture with this light that we had. Turned out pretty good. And this is like the most liked post yet. Which is good, because that means I'm one step closer to becoming famous. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to be the Mr. Beast of Lego life, alright? Anyway, super super duper exciting day today. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Um, I bought a Lego set. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm actively spending money on trying to get famous on this app for kids now. So I don't, I don't know what that says about me. But, but like, I bought it for the video. You know, it's I, I didn't just like want a Lego set to build. I'm way too old for that. <laughs> Looks like my super real tattoo is starting to fade away. That's how you know it's real, because real tattoos do that, right? Anyway, let's start building this thing. Oh, you could like build like different. There's three different things that you can build. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, if I was like a little, like a stupid little kid. <laughs> All right, cue the super intense, epic building music in three, two, one. All right, it's done. I finished it. Um, I can't find the stickers though. I don't know if I'm missing them or if they didn't come, but I believe this is supposed to say Creator Street, um, but it doesn't because I don't have the stickers. You can kind of open it and close it like this and you can see what's inside of it, which is pretty cool. If I was like a little kid, obviously, I don't really find it that cool. I'm just gonna take pictures tomorrow. I I'm so tired. It's like it's 1 a.m. I need Okay, it. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll take some pictures tomorrow and I'll see you in the morning. Watch this cool transition. <sighs> Okay, oh, shit. all right, it is not the next morning, but it is the next day. It's night, you can, yeah, it's nighttime. But it's all right, because we can still take pictures. I'm gonna get a uh, white paper and I'm gonna like hold it up like this. I'll hold it up like this. I'm gonna hold it up like this so that it'll look like it's just in, like a white void. Um, and I can take pictures of our beautiful Lego set. It's going to be truly fantastic and artistic and gonna make me famous, and that is a guarantee. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, that was just a waste of time and money. The post with the Lego set didn't get like any likes at all. It just completely flopped. I don't know why I thought buying a Lego set would make me famous. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing any of this actually. It's all for you, Associate Courteous Morrow. Speaking of um, good old ACM, let's let's take a little psychological deep dive into what made him so famous and so likable. And maybe that was just me that found him found him that. But let's look at what made him essentially the Mr. Beast of Lego. There was a couple of things that made him work, but I think the main thing was that he had something that the rest of the Lego lifers didn't have. Thank you.
uh, talent. To be honest, I don't have much of that, but I do have something else that the rest of LEGO Life probably doesn't have. I'm sorry. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Is that even a phrase? I don't even know. I'm gonna be uh, flexing my play button on this app for um, little kids. I, uh, I'm just gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna full send it. I'm gonna take pictures with my play button on Lego Life. Let's do it. Guess what? Nothing. I mean, it got some likes, but it wasn't worth, like, keeping it up or anything, so I just deleted it. I felt a little bit ashamed. It was a little bit morally, uh, not good. So that's why my next thing that I'm gonna try is... Stealing, because that's way better, right? A while back, I made a channel called New Channel for a series where I was trying to get a brand new channel to 100,000 subscribers in 30 days. And the thing that worked the best on this channel was taking Ryan Trahan's videos and turning them into Legos. So I figured, why not do the same thing on Lego Life? I'm gonna take popular uh, YouTube videos thumbnails, and I'm gonna remake them out of Legos and post them. And I mean, they should get like a ton of views because there's no one else doing this on Lego Life. It's genius. It's gonna take a lot of Photoshop, but I don't care. I'm desperate. Why? Okay, I have some explaining to do. So it's it's been a while. On day 30 of the challenge, I was kind of freaking out, you know? I had tried everything I could think of, but I still wasn't famous on LEGO Life. I had one last option. I made a YouTube short about the challenge. I made up a whole fake story about my little brother. You're really bad at this. I say it later. Edited it all together, and before the challenge ended, I was able to post it, hoping it would get me at least a few followers on the app. Oh, and here, and here it is. I just found out about this app for my little brother. It's like Instagram, but you can only post Lego things. Interesting. I'm giving myself 30 days to pass my little brother and followers and become the most famous person on Lego Life. All right, let's make an account. They gave me this weird automatically generated name. Modest Face 071. So on this app, everything that you post has to get through the moderator. Basically, they can approve or reject Reject your pictures based on if they follow the kid-friendly guidelines. But my picture of my dog got rejected by the moderator. How dare you? I bought a Lego set. And not because I wanted one. This is for the video, alright? It's finished. I posted a bunch of pictures of my brand new Lego set, but I still wasn't famous yet. I tried flexing my silver play button, but that didn't really work either, and I was embarrassed, so I just deleted the post and moved on. These posts have, like, no life. Time was running out, so I had to resort to my secret plan. Stealing popular YouTubers' thumbnails. Lego edition. These posts were doing better than any of my other pictures, and so I milked it to death. But I still didn't pass my little brother. You're really bad at this. Uh, and that was 191 days ago. Uh, but since then, the video blew up. Right now, it's sitting at almost a million views on TikTok and 13 million on YouTube. That's, that's a lot. That is a lot of views. I know the challenge is technically over. And using my main channel to get followers on the Lego app is probably cheating. Well, let's just check to see how many followers we got from that video. Okay, let's see here. Friend requests. 1,171. Dude, that's gotta be like half the app. Bro, that's so many. What? The posts have a ton of likes too. 214, 158, 207, 431. Bro, that's crazy. I guess does that count as like becoming famous? Because I don't know how many people have that many followers. Like, I don't know how many followers. I guess I'm famous on Lego right now.